You classified living chaminolecules by looking at their characteristics, but you didn't have anything more to go on. Now you have the fossil record. A geologist has discovered many chaminolecules in the fossil record going back 19 million years. So now you can better classify the living organisms based on their ancestry. So starting 19 million years ago, we have an organism that got this whole group of organisms started. Okay, and the first thing you're going to need to do is get a chart paper and create a grid with 19 lines equal distance apart from 19 all the way up to zero, which would represent the present. So your first organism, number 73, he's going to go on the 19 million line. And he's the only one that was found and is our common ancestor of this whole group. He will go at 19 million years ago. And then you can start to build this group. Here we have two organisms, right, living 18 million years ago. And this represents our first speciation event. So we have two organisms now. Something's happened in the environment, and now we have some divergent evolution happening. So we have an organism that has eyes and an organism that really doesn't have eyes. So there must be something going on in the environment that's favoring eyes, and maybe the other one lives in a cave and doesn't have to see anything. So there aren't any eyes for that guy. So while we're doing this, we might want to think about what's going on in the environment of these organisms that's going to favor certain characteristics. And we're going to follow that through time. And we're going to classify our living chaminolecules based on the fossil record and see how much better our classification scheme will be by looking at this. So here we have 17 million years ago, we have three fossils that were found. And based on characteristics, oh, we see some more eyes, right? This guy's got eyes, but those are more on the side of his head. And here we have the guy with no eyes. So he is descending from fossil 58. 52 descends from fossil 58. And fossils 37 and 32 have descended from fossil 74. And we see that the eyes for fossil 37 are now more on the side of the head. Perhaps there's some predation going on and he needs 360 degree peripheral vision to get away from predators. This guy might be living in an environment where he needs more binocular vision. Maybe he needs better depth perception to get at his food source. And maybe number 37 needs to be able to get away from some predators. And that represents a speciation event. So 32 and 37 are the descendants of fossil 74. And from there, you can keep going by looking at the characteristics, looking at when they lived, who's descending from who, and don't forget, you might have some organisms from these lines of descent that go extinct, and that's the end. They don't go any further, and they don't make it to the present. Okay, so here we have our fossils for 16 million years ago. Oh, we've got our flat-headed guys with no eyes. He's probably descended from fossil 52, right? And maybe that flat head has some sort of chemical reception for the cave that they're living in. Maybe there's something that they are eating that they can better find with some chemicals. And yeah, 59 and 60 have clearly descended from 52. Okay, and over here, we've got 49. He looks like he descended from 32. And 38... Looks like he descended from 37. Yeah, there must be some extreme things going on in that environment. 
that's causing those eyes to get further and further apart. Maybe there's a selective pressure there that's really got some serious predation going on, and he really needs to be able to see behind him or something to run away. Who knows? It's fun to think about these things. But what you're going to do is you're going to actually see, right, speciation event, right, line of descent, right, speciation event. Here's another line of descent and a speciation event and more lines of descent. And eventually you'll end up with a nice tree diagram that's going to show you beautiful fossil record and that'll take you to the present day and you'll be able to better classify the living organisms based on the fossil record. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what people produce. This is going to rock. Have fun.